Welcome to this tutorial part one introduction about pipe classes. My name is Javier Blasco and I am associate professor at the University of Zaragoza in Spain. This series of tutorials have been made with help from Breadbag and Inipet. Why are pipe classes necessary? A pipe network is made up of pipes and many other fittings such as elbows, reducers, tees, weldolets. But how should we choose the right type of connection, the right size, the correct material, dimension standards for each situation? We create something called a pipe class. It is a document that tells you the pipe materials and pipe fittings you should use for a given situation. For example, when you have certain fluids or when you have a given temperature and pressure range. The first advantage of using um, pipe classes is what we call unification. For example, a typical unit might have between 2,000 and 5,000 lines. Uh, shall we use 2,000 different materials, wall thickness, etc., one for each line? Of course, that would not be um, very efficient. So, um, by using, by looking, uh, uh, grouping the lines which are similar in pressure, temperature, and fluid uh, uh, features, we can uh, simplify these 2,000 lines into only 40 pipe classes. This is just an example. Of course, this makes uh, life much easier when you have to order materials and when you have to manage the warehouse. So, we are going to show an example of this unification. In this table, we can see that we are able to assign the same pipe class to eight different lines. These lines are carrying two different fluids and they have different pressures and temperatures. The second advantage uh, of using pipe classes is to avoid mistakes. The motto here is think and calculate carefully only once and use it many times. For example, what is the best price versus quality material for cooling water at 3.5 bar and a temperature between 13 and 42 degrees Celsius? Or another question could be what kind of branch should I use from a 12 inch pipe to a 2 inch pipe? Should I use a T, a weldolet, a socolet, threadolet, stab on, and so on? A third advantage of using pipe classes is that they can be used in 3D software. First, we have pipe classes are loaded into the 3D software. Then the designer sets the pipe class for each line he or she draws. And this, the designer then can only choose fittings available in that pipe class. Therefore, we are avoiding mistakes. The designer cannot choose the wrong type of connection, the wrong type of material, and so on. What information is included in the pipe class? Uh, we have lots of information such as pipe materials, pipe sizes, pipes, flanges, fittings and such as elbows, caps, reducers, uh, meter bands, bolts and nuts, washers, gaskets, valves. And we also have the branch table that tells you what kind of branch branching component you should use. For each component of the ones listed uh, in the previous slide, the pipe class is telling you the wall thickness, either with the schedule or the class, the rating, the kind of ends, such as plain end, uh, at weld or socket weld, the kind of uh, welding, if any, seamless or welded, the type of fabrication, forged or cast, the material used, and the dimension standard. In this picture, we are showing an example of a pipe class in the uh, in Following a series of this tutorial, we will see many examples of pipe classes and we will go through this document more in detail. But this is just a first uh, look at the pipe class. In the top uh, left uh, corner, we have the pipe material. In this case, it is ASTM A106 grade B. Then below we have, we can see the flange rating, class 150. And below we can see the corrosion allowance. The corrosion allowance is the amount of material we assume that will be lost due to the fact that as time passes, the chemical substances take away part of the material of the pipe. In the top right uh, 
corner, we have the design code. In this case, we chose ASME B313, which is the uh, American code for uh, process plants. And below this information, we have a, a, a long table, long and narrow table, where we show um, a, a pairs of values of temperature and pressure. This is something we will discuss in detail uh, later on, which is called the pressure temperature rating. So the question now is who develops the pipe class? And the answer is the piping department. The starting document for this uh, development is the PNID. This is the uh, piping and instrumentation diagram. And this document is created by the process department. Of course, the pipe material uh, uh, leans on the materials department to create the pipe class because they are the material experts and also in the know-how of the, the company. That means all the previous projects they have been uh, involved uh, where they have learned a lot of uh, things. This is the end of part one of the pipe classes tutorials. Thank you very much for watching.